Greetings and welcome to the show. Balance. Get some in your life. What's happening, good people? You know what time it is. Time for a marathon update. I believe it's day 74. I'll double check that here in a minute. Marathon training. We deep into week 11 here. It's the 18 week program and we're getting it in, you know. So today, uh, what, what? I'm sorry, you know what time it is. You see the headband. You see the earphones, the water is nearby. I'm not going to go and grab it, but you know what it is. Get your H2O in your life, ladies and gentlemen. You got to get some. So today is, uh, like I say, day 74. I had a four-mile run today, which was quite a nice, easy, breezy run. You know, I, and I, I have to admit that I, I, I made a mistake, okay? Yesterday, I ran eight miles, which was a good eight miles. I felt great. The sun wasn't out, but it was pouring down, raining. Uh uh, my Facebook status for the week was, you know, just ran eight miles in the pouring down rain. That's what commitment looks like, ladies and gentlemen. Just because a little bit of rain, a little bit of Mother Nature gets out there doesn't mean it can stop your program. This was the, the, actually the first rain of my training for this uh, particular season. So felt kind of good. You know, let me know when I get out there. I'm the only person out there running. I, li I like that. You know, I like that. I like to feel like these sidewalks are mine, you know, because I run outside. I'm not a treadmill runner. But, um... Yeah, uh, back to my mistake. My mistake is I haven't purchased a second pair of shoes yet. So today, after running eight miles in the rain, obviously those shoes are soaking wet. So I go to put them on today and they're drenched. You know, I'm like, oh my goodness, but I don't have a second pair of shoes. So I had to wear the shoes that I wore last year that I ended up hurting my foot in. And uh, it was just a four mile run. I took it real slow and made sure I was heel toe this time. And I didn't get the stride and smacking my foot on the ground or anything like that. So the foot still feels good. You know, I'm in there. I made it. I survived. But uh, this particular week, we're going out to purchase a second pair of shoes so I can make sure that I don't make that sort of mistake again. So my bad. I tried to jeopardize all these weeks of training uh, just being lazy, I guess, and not going out and purchasing the particular pair of shoes. Um, but before that eight miles, I actually ran five miles on Monday, which felt really good. You know, I'm building up. But last week, uh, Friday, I had a 15 mile run, which was to be the longest of my life and particularly the longest of this year's training season. I didn't make it. I didn't make it. You know, I, I only ran, uh, I made 13 miles. And like, as I'm running that 13th mile, I'm thinking in my head, like, even if I got to walk, you know, I'm going to make this 15 miles, but let me tell you, I was wiped. I was totally gone. Um, there's nothing I could do about it. My phone had died while doing the run, so I had to go up to a complete stranger and ask him to call my wife to come and get me. And and the crazy part about it was it wasn't my lungs. You know, you, you hear that type of length of running and you think, oh my God, my heart would be jumping out my chest. But I was pretty much breathing like I am now, but my body was so sore like my legs was so sore and beat up you know it, it was crazy um i think i need a new pair of shoes so we're going out and get those for these long runs i'm not going to be able to run it use the new shoes this friday which i have a 16 mile run um a couple other things too much alcohol i actually drank some alcohol the night before a long run i ate my pasta i've been drinking my water um so i got definitely got to cut back on that and um What's the other thing? Oh, I got out. I didn't start running until like 11, 30, 12 o'clock. So the sun was beating on me that whole time. I just think my body was wore down. So in this focus, I got to gotta tighten it up a little bit tougher. You know, I got I to gotta get a little bit more serious. I got to cut back on some extracurricular things that I've been doing. I feel like this week um, is starting to impact my body. I'm slimming down. I, I am wearing like a Chase Harris tight shirt right now. Um, so I apologize for that, but that's my wife's shirt. I, I didn't recognize. I don't know. I'm putting on clothes. I'm going to run, people. I'm not looking at the. I'm not looking at the fashion. I'm out here to hit these streets and get it done. But uh, yeah, but I feel you know, I feel my body getting back under control. I haven't. I'm not losing weight like I was last year, but I'm still feeling good. But I want to get to the crux of the matter here, which is appreciation. You know, I want to. I want to say thank you to. First of all, I want to say thank you to everyone who follows me here on YouTube and Facebook and, and FreddieTaylor.com and, and, you know, encouraging me and all of those types of things to keep going. And hopefully I'm motivating a couple of you to do and be more in your life, you know, health as well, get some in your life. You know how we do it. Um, but I want to give shouts out to Adam. Uh, 
Adam, a, fr a good internet friend of mine. Well, we met in real life one time, but you know we still need to get together and have some beer. But uh, you know he he has been a source of motivation for me. I, I I think I've been motivating him to do and be more as far as being a healthier person. I hope I have anyway. But he's been a source of motivation for me because I'm not sure how long he's been smoking, but I know he is greater than he's going on more than three months smoke free. You know, so I, I give you I give you a big round of applause for that, Adam. I give you a lot of shit on a daily basis, but that's that's outstanding. Not only for yourself, but for your family and your child, you know, to, to know that they're going to going to have you healthy and in, in their lives longer. So that's outstanding. Big round of applause to you for that. But also, you know, he's taking up running. I mean, this guy, you know, I always give him shit about being chubby and fat. Like, man, you, you're going to have a heart attack, fat boy. And I call him pudgy and a whole bunch of other things that I probably shouldn't say. But I motivated my own special way, you know, motivate by insult, I like to call it. Um, but you know, he's been out here running. He did 1.6 miles. Like was his first run. He said his heart almost fell out his chest, you know, but now he's been running like 3.6, 3.5. I forget the exact distance, but he's going for a five mile run. He wants to start running five Ks. You know, he's complaining about his knees and he has to ice, but I let him know that pain is just a sign of weakness, leaving the body, stay in the game. You can do it, fight through it, you know? Um, but that's, you know, it's motivating me. You know, I know if, if if Adam can stop smoking and get his fat ass off the couch <laughs> and and run these type of miles, then, you know, I know that I can continue to push through it and hit these 15, 18, 20 mile runs that, quite frankly, I'm getting a little bit nervous about. You know, this is like the first time during any of these trainings that I'm starting to get a little bit nervous about the long runs. And it's probably because I haven't completed one of these, you know, 15, 13, well, I did 13, but you know, 14, 15, 16 mile runs yet. And it's letting me know that this is going to be a bear of a challenge. But finally, appreciation. I got it. I would be a terrible person if I didn't give it up on video. You know, as she said, I was Facebook caking earlier, but I was thanking my wife, uh, Crystal Taylor, for all that she does during um, the preparation that I've been going for these marathon runs over the last couple of years. I mean, she's cooking my pasta the night before without even me asking. I mean, she does. She's just an incredible woman. If you could get a Crystal Taylor in your life, you'll be a lucky man or woman, you know, no judgment. But uh, uh, she's outstanding. You know, she she runs the bath water. You know, she encourages me to drink my water during the day. She encourages me to eat. She's asking me my, my route that I'm running on. She comes, picks me up like, like last Friday when I couldn't make it. Um, you know, I come in, she's making recovery shakes. She's just always encouraging. She's just really the light of my life. And I really appreciate it, baby. I love you. So um, I just wanted to say during my appreciation video that I appreciate you. But, you know, enough of that cake and that she's going to give me, she's going to give me a mess about all of this. But uh, I do, I do appreciate all that you do. Um, but again, back to my, my, my video family, you know, I, I appreciate all y'all being out there pushing me. Uh, my man, Neil, who, who's keeping me tight on my days, you know, sometimes I'll say 80, uh, day 85, you know, he'll call me out like, man, it was just day 64 yesterday, how you're on day 85 already, you know, keep me honest, uh, Facebook family, YouTube family, blog family, everybody just keep me honest out there, and, uh, you know, I'm going to keep pushing and fighting to make sure that I can make this dream of running uh, 26.2 miles of reality, you know, it's been a long fight, like I said a couple of videos ago, you know, three years in the making, it's coming up, and I got it's week 11 of 18, so I'm, you know, I got eight more weeks. Well, seven and a half, or yeah, seven and a half more weeks at this particular junction in the week. Um, man, I'm fired up, man. I can't wait. You know, I just can't wait. I want to get it over with. There's so many other things that I want to accomplish in life and, and, and challenges I want to take on. So I can't do them until I get off of this one. I promise that I'm not going to take my eye off the prize and start eyeing the next goal in my next life goal on my list. I'm going to focus and push through this particular one. But as always, I want you to remember that health is wealth. You need to get some in your life. Health is wealth. Pass it on. You know, maybe we can start a movement or something along that nature. America is one of the most obese countries in the world. In fact, in, in the world, probably ever. You know, the foods that we eat are poison. I've been watching these new videos and stuff. Oh, my God. That's gonna, I'm going to say that for another day. But... You know, health is well, people, and it's so serious that there makes no money, makes no sense focusing all your attention on generating money and funds and income if you're only going to have to spend it to try to have 
a decent type of life. So why not just take care of yourself now, build your health, and make sure that you, you can take any fortune that you happen to attain in life and give it to your next generations. But as usual, all things happen first in the mind, then in reality. Let's go get them.